So 43 seasons of Survivor. Yep. When you first got the gig, did you think it was going to last this long? No. No. And I, I, but I didn't know anything about television. Yeah. I didn't have a publicist or anything. So I really didn't know how it worked. But I thought that we would for sure get a second season. And then I thought, I bet we'll get a third season yeah. before it's done. One of the best stories was Friends was on and Thursday night was must-see TV on NBC. Mm -hmm. And this was back before streamers. So the networks were everything. And you you were in direct competition with whatever show was on at your same time on the other network. So yeah. if Survivor was on at 8 o'clock and Friends was on at 8 o'clock, we were going to be competitors. We were originally actually on Wednesday. And at 8 o'clock on Wednesday, nothing was on. Yeah. So the Survivor ratings were really big. Season 2 comes up and... Kelly Call, who's still at CBS, was in charge of scheduling. And the story he tells is you, you go to a board and you put all the shows where you think they should go. And all the executives are going to look at it and say, okay, we agree or we don't agree or wow, this is what we're doing. And he said, so I'm laying out the entire thing and you see all the other networks. So there's friends Thursday at eight o'clock. And he goes, and I have this tag that says survivor, this magnetic thing. Yeah. And everybody's waiting to see where I'm going to put it. And I go put it next to friends. And he said the reaction in the room was, really? We're going to leave Wednesday night where we could dominate and go up against the biggest show in television history. Yeah. And his quote was, when you have a sledgehammer, you got to use it. Mm. Survivor's a sledgehammer.